Hey, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good day um, or a good week. And um, so today I'm gonna be smoking a little bit of, um, again, some Blue Lotus. And this this time I wrapped it not in, a, in joint paper or bamboo paper as old school people like to call it, but I wrapped it in um, hemp paper, which looks like tobacco paper and this is what i'm using right now this is um i just got it from my gas station um they sell it around some gas stations here where i live at um it's called it's called vegan 100 percent organic hemp gmo free 100 percent tobacco free and um, it has two it brings two of these um, little sticks inside which you can wrap i'll show you right here Like you could put a tip on it. Actually, I don't, I roll it without the tip. I mean, I'm not sure if I could add that now. Let's see, if I could add it, it would be dope. Okay. Oh no, maybe, maybe. Hmm, interesting. So this is how it looks like with the tip. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm putting that in the right way, but let's light it up and smoke. So yes, yeah, so I know when the tip came out, so I'm not even gonna put that, I'm just gonna smoke it like that. immediately I could actually tell you guys that this paper is so good I mean remember this is mixed it's a little bit of THC and it has a little bit of blue lotus inside of this so By the way, let me know how you guys like to roll your stuff, you know, like if you like to smoke any kind, herbal, so um, if you smoke herb or you, or you smoke herbal uh, flowers or anything, let me know in the comment section. And if you like this content, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe and it will help very much. I mean, um, so let's talk about smoking and, and uh, in, in, in the total of the, the scheme of things, right? So smoking has been around for centuries, basically. So people have smoked. I'm guessing since fire was invented, they try to smoke it, the, the whatever they could find. But don't call me on that. I mean, I'm not sure how smoking came to be, but I know that a lot of tribes, a lot of people from ancient civilizations smoked, and it was considered more like a ritualistic um, thing to do, right? And, and it's more like a connection. I, I feel like when, when you smoke or you inhale anything into your body and your lungs, you're kind of like inviting the substance into your temple, basically. And, um, and I feel like it's a connection between you and, and your higher self in a way. 
because when I smoke, I kind of like zone down and kind of like take a break from the the norm or the um, you know the the normality of things, right? Like the you just take a break from it. That's why I found out that some people that like a, like a job sites or stuff like that, like they get a smoking break. So that will be one of the benefits of smoking. But not weed though, or herbs, right? So, what else can I tell you about this? So I mean, if you whatever you smoke, cigarettes. I mean, some people smoke cigarettes, and that gives you a special, uh, I guess, buzz because nicotine. It's kind of like reacts in your brain really fast. Like it's probably the fastest thing. Like even you smoke like 10 seconds later, you're already getting the high from smoking or the chemical from smoking, which is nicotine. But in my case, like I, I try to stay away from that. Not that I smoke a cigarette, probably I'll, I'll say once a month or probably twice a month, give or take. I mean, but I, I don't try to fool myself saying that like people be like, oh, I quit, I don't smoke, I'm so healthy. Yes, I try to be healthy. But I also, I also noticed that when, you know, smoking is a part of my identity in a sense, like the connection that I have between smoking and myself as a person as a as a human being or as a as a higher self when i smoke as my higher self likes smoking like if it was for me i would probably smoke more than i smoke on the regular because i really enjoy smoking smoking but i i, I just you know try to minimize the dangers or the downsides of smoking right kind of dries you up, right? By the way, guys, like I, I figure out that the Blue Lotus does do something to me I mean, like, let me know in the comment section if this has happened to you. But after that first video that I that I took out with the smoking blue lotus, which I'm doing right now with the herb and mixing together, um, I actually felt like after I was done with the video and I got up, I felt like an intense, like, not to the point of crazy, but like a pretty noticeable euphoria. And I actually was able to like concentrate and do stuff and do like some research and read or play like a video game. I was playing like a video game that I haven't played in, in years because it made me kind of like be want to want to be in the moment. And I actually enjoy it to the point that that I, I actually went like smoke the next day, you know, which again, to me is just because that's the way I am. I could smoke a thing one, two, three times and then I stop for like a month and then I'll pick it up back later on, right? But it's like trying to, to I'm trying to say that herbs, including weed or tobacco or even alcohol, like people hate on all these things, but actually like if you learn how to use certain things, like I could drink a beer at lunchtime, right? I could drink a beer at lunchtime, right? have a nice lunch and drink one beer that's fine to me that's awesome if i could do that as part of my routine every day i'll drink a beer to me I, my my subconscious doesn't kill me when i drink one beer because i know that i don't usually drink and i'm not an alcoholic and i i try not to 
uh, I mean indulging alcohol so much but when it's in certain moments and time in life like when you're celebrating something or you're in vacation if you splurge a little bit that's I don't think that's gonna kill you unless you go super overboard and you know a couple of drinks are not gonna kill you it's, it's just like smoking you know like you know there has times that I want a cigarette just because I don't want to smoke weed or I don't want to smoke a cigar or I just don't want to smoke anything else and I just want tobacco and on this normal you know like the feeling of tobacco the actual smoking the the actual lighting up of something you know like this is pretty good because this has kind of like made my urge to smoke a cigarette a little bit less which I had a urge today to smoke cigarettes. I haven't done that in a week. Um, I don't smoke. Like I said, I got some cigarettes from a gift that they gave me when I went down south to South America. And I love those cigarettes. They taste really good to me. So they gave me a couple of packs to bring to the US and now like I smoke here and there. But it hasn't become to the point that I need to smoke when I wake up or I could just function. You know, I still do my regular, um, you know, I, I go to work out, I do my regular thing, but smoking is a temptation. I, I believe in my life, it's always been there since I was a kid. I, my, my family, my grandma, uh, you know, like if people in my family have smoked, drink for ages. Since I was a little kid, I saw people lighting up cigarettes. When, I'm in, when you were born in Puerto Rico, or especially in any, in any Latino country that, that you know, people, the, the regulations on tobacco are really not that high. I'm feeling pretty good right now, just to let you guys know. It's really, it's really doing it. I mean, I can't remember what I mix it with, but it was some good, a good strain. It was like a 20 percentage uh, 20 percent thc um content on the on the grass that i put in here but i, I kind of sprinkle it with the blue lotus i don't want to like get the grass to be like the the main thing i wanted the blue lotus to kind of shine more right but yeah i just came back from doing so many things back to the subject actually i don't want to lose that um so Cigarettes have been in my life since I was like 11, 10, since I, was, since I was conscious. Because I used to get the packs for my aunt and God bless her soul, you know, she's not here no more. But I, I, um, I used to get cigarettes for her when I was a kid. She used to be like, send me to, to buy cigarettes and nobody said, nobody. I could have smoked the cigarettes myself. And, um, and nothing, right? because they sell it to me as a kid, as an 11 year old kid in Puerto Rico. But that's in every other Latino country that they don't have regulations. It's a little bit stricter now, thank God, you know? It's gotten better instead of worse. I believe so. And, um, well, that's that's my kind of like my, like the, the, the fact that I was attracted to smoking is because I saw a lot of people smoking, right? But you know, I do, I do, I actually do these videos just to educate people on a little bit about, I don't know, their, their hobbies in a sense, which this is a hobby. This is, I mean, compared to what's out there, smoking is not like, oh my God, yeah, you're good. You're just a, the worst person ever. You know, like you always try to better yourself. Use, use the, 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 the ex smoking experience as a as a teacher not as a as a pleasure because when you when you're using the the smoking as a as a pleasure you're kind of cutting out the whole experience which it is being in one with yourself you know But anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to continue to smoke this and um, 
like I said, like on my first, watch, go watch my Blue Lotus video because that's gonna tell you how it feels kind of to smoke Blue Lotus mixed with a little bit of uh, THC. Um, but on the other hand, I hope you guys stay blessed and thank you for listening to me. I don't wanna make this too long because YouTube does not like long videos. And if it was for me, I would continue talking. So have a blessed weekend, have a blessed life. Thank you for watching my videos. And if it makes sense to you, hey, drop a like and a subscribe. And thank you. And I will respond to comments. So have a nice day. Have a nice night.